Hey there, welcome to Michael on the Go, and I am your host, Michael Gennati, Catholic Family Man Edition. Social media and the new evangelization. Why social? Video three. So in our earlier two videos, we talked about the fact that we want to be involved with social as a Catholic, as a Christian, because number one, we don't want to be the subject of conversation, we want to be participants of it. Number two, we talked about the fact that social media allows us to scale. And the final is because of the commandment of Christ himself, go forth and event, you know, make disciples of all the nations. So we see when we look at the New Testament after the Gospels that the apostles went forth into the nations, right? They got on boats, they walked, they traveled, they didn't fly, they didn't climb aboard a 747, but they got up and moved and went very far for their day from their home. They left, they left Israel, they left Jerusalem, and they went forth to preach. They went to Rome, they went to Greece, they went to Turkey, they went, you know, it's nowadays Turkey, North Africa, and in turn, their followers did the same. It was this, it was this idea of going forth. This was, you know, the, the evangelist, the church militant, go, not that it means fighting, but the advancing, the church militant advancing, evangelizing, going forth. And somewhere along the line, for many of us, we've gotten away from that. We've gotten, you know, over the years, we, there's been almost this, uh, with many, this desire to almost contract and make a smaller, more faithful church, right? Where we're, we're strengthening and building up and getting really strong in faith amongst ourselves, but not growing. And, and I don't, that's not really, it's not that people have been necessarily consciously, but that's been the effect of a lot of activity. And Pope Francis has really called us out of that, saying, you know, look, we need to be out there. We need to be out in the streets bringing Christ's love to everyone because that's what God commanded. That's what Christ called for. Make disciples of all the nations. Now, having said that, you know what? I'm a father. I'm a husband. I'm an employee. I've got things that mean that I'm pretty much stuck where I live. But you know what I do have? I have access to the internet. How do I how do you know that, Gold? Because you're watching this video. I have access to the internet. The internet today is offering us a chance to get out there and virtually go forth to all the nations. You know, I've been doing social media for years. In fact, in my job uh, with the company I work at, one of the things that I do quite frequently is strategy briefings, executive uh, think sessions, whiteboarding with you know C-level execs, Fortune 500 companies talking about how they can leverage social media in the enterprise, how they can you know make connections, build their brand, drive new business, and all that. And one of the amazing things that I just love with social media is how it can be used to connect with people and open new markets when it comes to business. To get out there and get exposure because it is international. People are tuning in everywhere. Even where they don't have computers, you know what they've got? They got phones. And phones now can plug in, they can get to Facebook, they can get to Twitter and all these different things. So it's open whole new channels. Well, it opens the same opportunities for us as a church, as a body of Christ. And I find that, you know, as I've engaged in social media, I've made connections with people around the world. And it, it's just a beautiful thing. We have the opportunity to share our faith, to share our daily actions. And I talked in the last one about, you know, getting out there and, and you know, getting into dialogue with individuals and others, of really engaging with people. And we need to do that, and as we do that, we can make disciples of all the nations. Not that it's going to give us, it does, it's not a substitute for going forth, you know, mission trips and doing all those things. When we make real, true contact, there's no replacement for that, right? Really touching somebody's life personally. But there is the opportunity to begin to share our own lives and the examples of our lives in dialogue so that people can see, you know what? Because as Christians, as people who follow Christ, 
we have something to offer that's so attractive when we share it, when people can see it being lived out, and that is Christ living in our lives. We don't have to be perfect, we don't have to be eloquent, we don't have to be anything, we just have to be faithful, the love of God, and a willingness to share that with others. And so social media affords an opportunity to provide a level of that so that in this thing that has become, you know, when the apostles went out, and I talked about this before, when they went out to the various cities, what are, where did they go? Well, you know, you hear them going into, like, in Ephesus and other places where they go to the, to the forums, to the places where people were dialoguing, the social media of the day. They went there because people gathered for, to hear people talk, for discourse and dialogue, and they preached. They debated, they dialogued, they shared Christ's love in those public places, the social media of the day. We have the opportunity to go out and do the same thing in Facebook, in Twitter, in Pinterest, in these various social media aspects to post blog postings, YouTube videos, and have exposure worldwide. So what are you doing today? Take a few steps. You know, if you're not com if you if you're comfortable on video, Everybody's got a phone. Make a little bit. Make little videos. And when you go and you go to Sunday Mass and you hear something that meant something to you that you could relate to in a part of your life, share it. Make a little video. If you're uncomfortable with video, make an audio and just put a picture of you, or put a picture and then add it to the video and put it up on YouTube. If you're not comfortable with that, type it, write it, share it on Facebook, share it on Twitter. Those things that impact you where you see a connection between your faith and your everyday life. If you start sharing those things, you're gonna reach out and make disciples of all the nations. So just some food for thought, why you should get social. So in conclusion, three reasons that we've talked about, and I'd love to get your feedback and have further dialogue. This is the first of a series of videos on social media and the new evangelization. But the three that we've talked about in why social, one, if you're not a participant, you're the subject of the conversation. Number two, because you can scale and take advantage of that domino effect of social media. And number three, because Christ told us to get out there, make disciples of all the nations. And social media gives us that domino effect where we share something, someone sees it, they click like, they reshare, they retweet, others see that, and on and on and on and our conversations, our sharing the light of Christ is shared and reshared, or when we dialogue with others, when they're attacking the church, and we're bringing the light of truth in love to those conversations, it can bring education and illumination into those, and we wanna do that. Just my food for thought. With that, I'm gonna get going. Till next time, this is Michael on the go. Catholic Family Man Edition, bidding you God bless and peace, and get out there and socialize your faith.